Are you looking for a way to gently exfoliate and brighten your skin without irritation? Wondering if there's a milder option that still delivers results? In this episode of the Spa Skin and Beauty, we're going to explore lactic acid, the gentle exfoliant derived from milk. Learn how it works, who should be using it, and why it's perfect for sensitive or dry skin. Plus, I'm going to share top product recommendations and tips for incorporating lactic acid into your routine. Tune in to discover the secret to a radiant, hydrated complexion. Do you want less wrinkles and fewer dark spots? Do you find yourself up late at night Googling clear, blemish-free skin and how to tighten my jowls? Do you wake up feeling unmotivated to do your skincare routine, overwhelmed with skincare costs, and frustrated that once you finally figured out your skincare needs, your skin changes and are left with starting over again? Hey, I'm Lindsay. I too was busy and unmotivated to do my skincare. I too felt self-conscious with my skin and wished I knew how to get my best skin yet. I wanted confidence and hydrated, tight, blemish-free skin, but I kept telling myself I didn't have the time, know-how, or resources to make it happen until I became an esthetician and created a simple skincare routine for clear, youthful skin. In this podcast, you will find quick, simple, and easy skincare solutions so that you will be loving the skin that you are in and motivated to keep up your skin routine. Grab your favorite skincare products, hit play on the podcast, and get ready for your glow up. Did you know that I have a free skincare membership filled with women just like you, busy entrepreneurs who are working hard to master their skincare routine through mastering simple steps? I share weekly skincare tutorials and product reviews every Monday, as well as offer exclusive podcast episode content, product discount codes, and so much more. So please come join us at laprebeauty.com. That's L-A-P-R-E-E beauty.com or download our app. It's Lapree Beauty and it's either in the Apple, iOS, or Google Play Store. Download today. So I'm continuing giving my personal micro steps as we dive into each week on the series for acids. So another micro step that I'm currently working on, and I gave a little bit of a hint of it on the last podcast. By the way, the last podcast I went over my micro step was trying out the current body LED helmet. This week, I am also trying out the new radio frequency, the RF beauty device, wrinkled reduction device by NUA. N-E-W-A. I'm really looking forward to it, that it is 100% going to work <laughs> it better because it's supposed to help with jaw line tightening and jowls and wrinkle reduction and that wobbly little area under our chin. So let's tighten all of those areas up. Like this better will work, okay? So I'm supposed to use this every night for 12 weeks. Each area that I do, um, you've got to put on for four minutes and then you apply a gel before you use it and then you have to rinse it off. So it is a pain to do every night. I am tired. I don't want to do this. I'm weighing the cost of this working and considering, okay, these areas, like my jowls, I'm 47, my jowls, I want to definitely have tightened. I want to have a stronger jawline and I do want the area underneath my chin tightened up as well. So I'm definitely open to giving it a chance. And you know, you have to think about it. Can I do this for 12 weeks of my life? What if it worked? What if it worked? And I was so happy about it. The answer is yes, I'm going to do it. It is a micro step to get to that place where I want because I'm not ready to go under, like I don't want facial surgery right now. So I'm going to try this out and I can't wait to share with you the results. I just started, so give me a little time, okay? But I cannot wait to share with you the results and I'm going to be so positive and I'm like, yes, because the before and afters look incredible, the stories, the testimonies, so I'm really excited and I will be able to taking pictures. So then I'll see it before and after. Let's talk about a really good acid that's super gentle and that is lactic acid. We're gonna dive into this one this week so you know about it. Lactic acid is another member of the alpha hydroxy acid, which is AHA family. And it's known for its mild yet effective exfoliating properties. I really like there's another option if you just aren't, 
really doing well with, you know, a glycolic or phallocylic acid, you're going to be able to have an option to use this one. Unlike other AHAs, lactic acid is derived from milk, making it a natural choice for those who do prefer like a more gentle approach to that exfoliation. And it's perfect for anyone you looking to brighten their skin without the risk of irritation. For my really mature clients, I really like a lactic acid. Like if you're in your 80s and above, this is also a great acid. And my mom, she's approaching her 80s. She's, she's in her late 70s. This is a really good acid for her to use too. And if you have super sensitive skin, I would try this definitely over a glycolic. Lactic acid has a long history, y'all. It's dating back all the way to ancient times when Cleopatra was rumored to bathe in sour milk. You know she did. <laughs> to achieve her legendary complexion. I just love that movie, Cleopatra, with the one with Elizabeth Taylor. Oh my gosh, that's such a good one. I can just picture her. I'm like, oh, she, you know she bathed in milk and just had that creamy complexion. It makes you want to just have a bath full of lactic acid and just, you know, exfoliate all at once. This acid is natural that's naturally found in milk is now, of course, synthetically produced for, you know, you're getting that consistent quality in all your skincare products. Its ability to gently exfoliate while hydrating the skin, that's the game changer. That's what makes it different. And it's what makes it the favorite among those with sensitive or dry skin. Now, how it works. Lactic acid works by loosening the bonds between dead skin cells on the surface of the skin. So it allows them to shed more easily. This process is what reveals that brighter, fresher skin underneath while improving skin texture and tone at the same time. In addition to exfoliating, lactic acid is known for its hydrating properties, so it's helping keeping that skin plump and moisturized. So lactic acid is comprised of molecules that are slightly larger than those of the glycolic acid, which means it's not going to penetrate the skin as deeply. So that's what makes it, you know, apart from the glycolic is gentler on the skin, but it's still being effective. It's this balance of exfoliation and hydration that really sets lactic acid apart from those other AHAs. It's a great choice for anyone with dry, sensitive, or aging skin. Its gentle nature makes it suitable for those who find those stronger acids like glycolic acids too harsh. It's also really good for those if you're wanting to reduce the appearance of fine lines, improve skin texture, or brighten that dull skin. And if you're new to exfoliating acids, Lactic acid is really a great place to start. You can see, you know, how your skin does on that, and then you can move up to the glycolic acids. Now, when you use it like uh, lactic acid, because it's milder than the other exfoliating acids, you're able to actually use it more frequently. So for most people, you can start with two to three times a week, and then as your skin tolerates it really well, you can gradually increase it, and then you can actually use this one every day. Now, with any acid, make sure to pay attention to how your skin responds to it. You don't want to over exfoliate because I've mentioned in the last two, if you over exfoliate, you can damage that skin barrier and we want to really keep that skin barrier healthier and intact. So then you're just going to have beautiful skin and you're not going to have any over drying, over breakouts and over sensitivity. Well, while lactic acid, you know, mainly it's generally well tolerated it's still an exfoliant, okay? So it's best to avoid if your skin, of course, is irritated, of course, if it's sunburned, oh my goodness, or if it's overly sensitive. If you're using other strong actives like retinoids, for example, it's also wise to alternate the lactic acids because you just want to, you know, you want to prevent that irritation or at least try, like, make sure that your skin can tolerate it before you add both of those at the same time, because that's, that is strong. Now, some people can, I've even seen skincare companies that have the acid and the retinoid together. That's fine. If your skin can tolerate it, just know how your skin is doing it. And of course, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, make sure to consult with your doctor. And it's really how you feel about that. Lactic acids can come in a variety of skincare products, just like 
the salicylic that we talked about and the glycolic. So those are also in cleansers, serums, and in treatments. And I will list some of my favorite lactic acid products in the show notes. What you want to do, you want to incorporate lactic acid. Like if you did a, you want to obviously cleanse your face. And if you're doing a cleanser, keep it on your skin for, I like to always say a minute. And my tip that I always like to do is I really like to do my facial massage with my cleanser. And then that way you're moving your muscles, then you're getting things going. So I really like to do at least a minute. If you're using a lactic acid serum or treatment, apply it after cleansing and before your moisturizer. Since lactic acid also has hydrating properties, know that it pairs well with other moisturizing ingredients like hyaluronic acid. Now, as with exfoliating acids, don't forget to apply sunscreen during the day because Again, when you do use acids, you're just exposed to the sun. Um, it just, your skin is so sensitive. So just be sure that you're protecting it before you get that sun on your skin, okay? Well, that is a wrap for today's episode about lactic acid. If you're looking to gently exfoliate your skin, hydrate it, or brighten your skin, lactic acid is your friend. It's a fantastic addition to your skincare routine. I really do like it. Don't forget to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss our next episode when we're still in our acid series and we're going to be exploring another essential ingredient and that is mandelic acid. I believe that's the one we're, we're doing that week. Yes, I think that's the one. Okay, so stay tuned and we will talk to you next week. I will talk to you. I will be here. It's time for me to to wrap up for the day. I will talk to you next week. Have a glowy week, you guys. And until next time. Okay, my skin friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, would you take 30 seconds and share it with a friend who may want to change their skin without all of the overwhelm and confusion? And before you go, I would love to send you my free 48-hour skin makeover as a gift. All you have to do is leave your review on the podcast because it really supports the growth of the show. This is my 48-hour skin care makeover guide where I will show you all of my best tips to transform your skin quickly. Perfect for when you need to look amazing in a short amount of time. All you have to do is leave your review on the podcast, take a screenshot, and then head over to lindsayholder.com slash review to upload it. And then you will get instant access to the 48-hour skincare makeover guide. Again, head to lindsayholder.com backslash review to upload your screenshot and get access. I am so grateful for all of your support and cannot wait to hear how the podcast has supported you. Now, time to grab your favorite skincare mask and have some TLC time for yourself. I'll meet you back here on Tuesday for another episode. Until next time.